my gosh. It was a nice day. But it looks like it's starting to rain. Because of course it is. I just logged on and I was like, oh my goodness, it's a beautiful day. And now I see rain. Of course. But that'll be fine. That'll be fine. I just wanted to basically go over a couple of, you know, spots that I really, really like in Draconia. You know, just some little things, uh, mostly the caves, the waypoints, um, maybe cover the quest stones real quick again, I guess. So, but of course right here, here's one of the waypoints. Uh, of course you can see we have Broken Shores and Dunearth. Uh, Moonmore doesn't exist yet. I kind of feel like that's going to happen when we get... Uh, what are they called? The, the Wyverns. Yes, so the Wyverns and the Drakes. When those come out, I think that is when we will see Moonmore come into effect. At least I think, at least I hope. <laughs> um, maybe when they expand the map a little bit. And then when they do that, it's probably a, when everything will, you know, we'll need another another travel location. So, that would be good. Alright, and of course, I celebrated too early about it being a nice day, because guess what? Now it's raining! <laughs> But that's okay. We're a little eastern dragon, and it's a water-based dragon, so it likes the rain. Or so we say. Alright, so first little point here. We got this little our quest stone right there. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Of course, over here. And this is I guess it's the bone yard. That's what I'd kind of consider it. Oh, don't die! Oh, another outstanding landing. Noodle landing. <laughs> this, of course, is one of those great places if you're looking for those ancient teeth because of all the piles of bones that they got going on around here. So that's always nice. Alright, Noodle, away! Of course, you can check out all these little nooks and crannies on your own. It's very interesting. Trying to keep it not too terribly long of a video, but a nice little island tour. I was desperately hoping for a nice day. Obviously, we're not going to get that. And that's fine. <laughs> Just fine. I'm okay with this. But I guess we'll head out over this way. So, you know, if you head out... You know, kind of west, southwest from the uh, that little green quest stone or the or the graveyard. You come over here, and this, of course, is where we have our our little forest, little tiny, you know, giant forest. We're gonna kind of go past that a little bit. We'll come back, but first we'll go look at our very first cave, numero uno on our list. It is the Viridite? Vir Viridite? I'm probably saying it wrong. I can almost guarantee I am. It's not even a, an almost. But uh, the one with the green gems. Viridite. Something like that. So, but in here, that's where we'll find it. Whoosh! Ah, noodle landing. Another fantastic, wonderful landing. Does anyone else notice it's raining in here? <laughs> this cave's basically failing at being a cave. I mean, like, a cave's number one job is to kind of, you know, keep the weather off of you. <laughs> Leaky cave. <laughs> Fails at being a cave. <laughs> That's okay, though. Yeah. Here, and grab a quick snack. Yeah, not too bad. I think they did a really good job. I mean, for what it is. Oh, noodle stuck. All right, there we go. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Or 
course, right out here, this is where we get to go into the forest. It's just a small little one. It's got a nice little log here to perch in. You know? Caves aren't your... Oh, oh gosh, where am I? Ah! <laughs> I mean, if caves aren't your thing, you can absolutely <laughs> go for a log. <laughs> oh, these roots are so sinister looking. Yes, you know, but if that's more your cup of tea, then absolutely. And here we have, it kind of makes me think that it's sort of like a stump of a world tree going. I don't know if they're planning on filling this out more, or having it be up here, or if this will be a location for the bosses or not. Interesting either way. Alright, so we're gonna go northwest over here. Wow, that kind of render in pretty late. I mean, they're practically running into them before, <laughs> before we even <laughs> have a chance to alter our course. <laughs> very sneaky roots, sir. Very sneaky. And here we go. Right over here. This will be our next little point of interest. The world's most sinister looking cottage or whatever. I mean, seriously. Looks like that thing wants to rob me. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to kind of follow it. Down here. Oh, I trust my flying skills. I totally do. Uh -huh. But yeah, we're just gonna follow this little tiny path. And we'll go to the next point of interest. Oh, what could it possibly be? Oh my. Anybody have any guesses? Absolutely correct. It's a cave. Game number two. Ooh, ah, uh, oh, oh ah, that was a very, very, very. Oh, I got stuck in the wall. What's up? Oh no, what's happened? I'm stuck. <laughs> Dragons can't walk backwards. <laughs> Come on now, work with me. All right. <laughs> Disaster averted. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the second cave. Uh, camp cave, I guess. Oh. Some snacks. Oh, oh, I missed the, I missed the snacks. That's okay. We're gonna come back in for another, another go. I'm telling you, I'm trying to maneuver a noodles like trying to parallel park an eighteen wheeler. Here, success. Oh, get the snack, get the snack. I saw it. No. Oh, look at that. Wow, this is like. Well, I'm eating it. I worked way too hard not to eat it. Ta-da! Success! <laughs> Dragon snack success! <laughs> uh, and then of course... You know, that one actually seemed weatherproof, didn't it? Did anyone see any rain? I did not notice the rain. That That is a good cave. That cave actually functions as intended. And then of course, you know, just kind of getting a little look at the lay of the land there. You just kind of keep on the coast. And here, this is Dunarth! Yay! A little interesting little place. I can't wait until this all gets kind of fleshed out, you know. Um, mushrooms going on around here. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs> I like how I, I jump like a helium field ferret. <laughs> Floating. <laughs> it's adorable, though. Yeah, I do like what they've got going on here. And here, it says waypoint number two. <laughs> See? So, if we wanted to go back, we could, but we don't. We've got other stuff we want to see. And I need water. I really hope that eventually they'll kind of do like some other games. Just let you, you know, absorb the water. It's raining. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to get as thirsty. <laughs> Stick my tongue out or something. Absorb it through my skin. I don't know. Something. Something. Come on, drink the water. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Moving on. Come on. Fly. All right. This here is my slinky noodle. Good for that more traditional look, you know. All right. And away we go. Lovely weather as always. Mm, hooray. Zoom. just an interesting looking rock. I don't know what point it serves, what it does, what they have planned for it. It is an interesting looking rock. Point of interest. That rock. <laughs> Let's see. I believe over there where those little floating islands are. I'd heard that that's kind of like the home of the wyverns when they actually get released. Um, so that'll be interesting. Maybe the drakes will be over there too? I'm not really gonna go all the way over there because those places are pretty empty. You know, I'll just kind of stick on the island for now. Look at the uh, Look at the caves, the, you know, the quest points and things like that. And so, of course, all this right here is the broken shores. And you just gotta go this way. And there we go. Right over there, this is the blue quest stone. Fantastic. Love it. And up over here. Next little point of interest. I really need to do some swooping. Gotta take advantage of that dive mechanic. To get a good look around though, you know. And here we go. This is the third third waypoint. This is the one on broken shores. So there you go. Yeah. So and like I said earlier, eventually we'll get you know moon ward. I don't know if it'll be over there. I kind of imagine it'll be over there. Over there. Could be, uh, could be wrong. Mm. Let's see. And this is cave number... Uh, three. Yeah, I think we've used like a different language for each number, so might as well just keep it up. Because <laughs> of course you have these wonderful waterfalls. And boy, what a waste it would be. There wasn't something awesome behind it. Gotta have a cave behind a waterfall. That's just how it works. Yeah, sometimes it does that. I think it's that water. Yeah, and that'll be a whole bunch of fun. Once we kind of get that going. Oh, There's that little lake. Stay on my back. I think that's kind of nice. As, I like that they kept the Asians as a as a water-based dragon. Kept it a really good swimmer. I think it goes in really well with like the war. I like that they're keeping that intact. And now here's the redwoods. We'll kind of dip in there real quick. It's almost always a good place to get a zoom light and stuff like that. 
griffin eggs. Not that it's asked you to, you know, get any, but they're delicious. <laughs> Flying so slow because I don't have any stamina. Here we go, though. Another little tiny point of interest, and my goodness, it's a beautiful day. What happened? Look at Stonehenge. Let me perch here for just a minute. And I like that they got this going on. It's just Stonehenge. I know that eventually they'll be planning on doing like factions and things like that, so maybe this will play a point or a part. I don't know. Maybe they'll have druids. Who knows? Only time will tell. Alright, so let's fly off over this way. Only got like a couple more things to really kind of look at. And then we'll just kind of round this cookie here, as a good cookie should be round. Well, I don't really discriminate against snacks. I mean, a good cookie could be square too, I guess, or a nice little rectangle, or an oval, or, you know, whatever they feel like being. Got this, uh, gosh, that is like really hard to see. There is like a dragon shaped footprint in here somewhere. Dragon, dragon shaped something. Ah, my noodle's too big to really look at it, but you know, if you feel like coming by, taking a glance at it, feel free. Mm, past a couple of things in the red woods. There's things like camps. This right here is the orange quest stone, of course. You know? Yep. Just in case you wondered. A couple little points of interest up there as well. We've got a little, you know, a little herbalist hut we'll go take a look at real quick, just in case you wondered. Um, I'd say up here or in Dunearth, it's probably a couple of places where you'll find like the symmetry, symmetry? Uh, you know, whenever that quest comes up. You can find it in a little potter. Right up here. Right near. Right near uh, where you spawn in at. And that pretty much just kind of, you know, real quick rough tour, you know. Waypoints, caves. A couple little points of interest. And now we're back here. Hopefully, oh, 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 oh. Oh, what a beautiful, glorious landing that was. Perfect. Yeah, so, yeah, hopefully that helped you out a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs>